welcome back so coming to the previous video we have created this uh, resource group and inside which we have created a virtual network named is it 104 we need one and inside that we have created uh, subnet 0 and subnet 1 using two different methods and we have added uh, virtual machines using uh, ARM templates that we found in the github and uh, in the next task we have uh, associated the public IPs to these virtual machines and then we were trying to connect to this virtual machine but uh, we were getting error so we were not able to connect to this virtual machine using RDP for that we have used uh, network security groups which allowed this connection so we have associated uh, these two interfaces with the same uh, network uh, security group and in this task we'll be, uh, we'll be configuring Azure DNS for uh, internal name resolution which is task 5 and the other one is for the external re uh, resolution which is task 6 for external we'll be using DNS zone and for internal we'll be using private DNS zone so saying that let's jump into the video so so coming to the task 5 let's go to the private DNS zone as we have seen in the architecture so already implemented it I'll show you how this is done so initially there is nothing so here you have to create one for that create and uh, select the appropriate subscription and uh, the resource group and coming to the name let me add the name which is given uh, according to the docs so, so I'm getting error since it's already present so you can just review and create it so once it is done you can find it uh, here so this is how you can find it and now when you click this so under settings you can see there is a virtual network uh, links so here we have to add click that right now we have our virtual link associated with this but initially it will be not there so you have to click add and coming to the link name let me add it however I'll be getting error but uh, let me show you this so now subscription and it will be the for this virtual network and make sure it's enabled auto registration so you can read here the setting enables auto registration uh, creation of DNS records in the private DNS zone for the virtual machines connected to the virtual network so once it is done make sure you click OK and it may take like one minute so wait for that once it is done now okay go to the overview so initially you can see only this one but uh, after associating uh, the virtual network these two columns will be uh, visible which is vm0 and vm1 since we have set to auto auto registered so now we have to confirm uh, whether we were able to access using uh, the virtual machine that we have deployed in the previous lab so if you click powershell let me go to it went to power powershell and uh, let me add the command which is ns lookup and uh, the resource that we're trying to access which is ac104 04 vm0 dot con dot org well you can see we were able to get the information related to that so yes it's working properly so now let's go to the task 6 which is external name resolution so if I go back here coming to external name resolution as you can see in the architecture we have to go to the DNS zone so if I click the DNS zone you can see I've already done it so let's click DNS zone and I already kept a sample DNS so initially you have to go to the domain godaddy and uh, there you have to find so if I go here so here I just searched for sample DNS and it was there so I used that particular name here okay yeah so now you have to click create and it's the same process that I have done for the private zone so same uh, resource group and coming to the name 
the name that we have used which is sample DNS dot ca so this is how you need to do it and click review and create it will be done for you go back to the DNS zone and you can see uh, this particular row will be appearing so if you click that and uh, you can see initially you will be able to see these two and here you have to uh, associate this vm0 and vm1 so for that we have to use record set so click that record set and you have to add the records so if i click vm let me add that initial let's go with the vm0 however i'll be getting error so let's leave it like that and coming to ip address so since we are dealing with uh, external you have to add the public ip so if you talk about vm0 so if i go back oh if i go back here if you check vm0 where is it yeah so here you can see a public ip so which we have associated in the task 3 so you have to copy this and uh, you have to paste here so once it is done make sure you click ok and similarly you have to click one which is the second and uh, go back here and click the vm1 and select this particular public ip address and add here and click ok so once you add these two record sets you will be able to see these uh, two rows here once you apply this so right now i'm just clicking ok because i already created these two sets record sets and uh, once it is done now we have to check in the powershell whether we were able to successfully retrieve or not so if i go back here let's go use the same command is it okay and uh, in this it will be not my private dns but the external one so that would be so the domain name would be the sample dns dot ca and the name server would be let me see the name servers so we have three name servers so we can use this one let me add that so ns sorry it's ns1 and uh, three five dot azure azure hyphen dns dot com dot so i hope i wrote correctly okay okay yeah so you can see even this is working properly so we are in the right track so so you can see it has been successfully working so yeah so this is how we have to configure and uh, make sure you delete the resources so for that we have to go back here and uh, so let me add that command So let me add here God and let's delete everything for that let me add the command yes soon you'll be seeing there will be error for this uh, the virtual machine which is running behind so yes this is how we have to implement and uh, if we talk about and if you see this so we have successfully implemented uh, the architecture so hope you guys have understood the concept of implementing the virtual networking which is lab 4 if you have liked the video please click like below and if not subscribe to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and thank you guys and please share the video too thank you